So this is the um, video of the R2 dome positioning system. Uh, I've got this system all put together running right now, so all I have to do to move the dome to a certain position, right now it's in the neutral or forward facing position. If I move this stick slightly left, the dome will move slightly left. If I move the stick more left, the dome will move more left until it gets all the way around. If I let go, it'll go back to center. Same thing for right, dome right. If I let go, it'll go back to center. Rather than holding it and then having it spin round and round and round, you can have precise control over the dome and which direction it points in. Another. So this is the program or the software that comes with the controller. You don't have to have the computer connected to it, but I have it right now connected to show you what's going on with the controller. Um, so with the remote here, the red line represents what the actual dome position is. The blue line represents what I'm telling the dome to move to. And the brown line represents how much power it's putting into the motor. So when I move the control here, slowly to the right, you can see both lines moving. The red line kind of is lagging behind a little bit, the, the blue line, but that's okay. And then when I let go, they follow each other, same way the other direction. And the bigger movements I make, the more current it uses, and the bigger that brown line gets. Okay. Let's, uh, another thing you can do is, uh, this is the trim for the, the left stick, so I'm using the rudder control for controlling the dome. So if I want to adjust slightly where R2 is pointing without moving the stick, I can do that with the trim, so trim it slightly left or slightly right, and you can see it moves just a hair with the trim like that.